Hey guys, Dr. Eric Smith, the Optimal Health Chiropractic, and today in our video, we want to show you some things you can do at home to help you a little bit with uh, neck pain. So a lot of times people have neck pain and such uh, from their work conditions, their ergonomics, how they sleep, or just mainly because, and the really factor in, into that is that they've lost the natural curve of their neck. So you're supposed to have a curve that goes forward like this in your neck. So something like this is the natural position of your head where it should be. But a lot of times with our phones and such, and the things that we do at work, our head becomes forward. So as that happens, you gotta remember the, the human head's about eight to 12 pounds. So as the head is uh, more forward, it's gonna weigh more. Similar to if you had a bowling ball and that bowling ball was held right next to your body, you'd be able to do that really easily. But because it's not, like your head is too far forward, it's gonna weigh exponentially heavier, sometimes up to 60 pounds. So you figure that's the big plate at the gym or just a, a, like, an immense amount more weight than these muscles back here really want to handle. So here's some things that you can do at home that are going to help to recondition that natural curve of your neck. I highly suggest you talk with your chiropractor to see where your, the positioning of your neck is and get adjusted to help loosen it up. But in the meantime, here's some stuff you can do. So simple thing you can do, um, there are products and such that you can buy and uh, you can touch base with me, send me a message. I can send you some links to some really good products that will help. But in the meantime, to reestablish that curve of your neck, you can roll up a towel. Now, you want something pretty big. You got to remember that this is going to crunch down a little bit, and we want to restore that natural curve of your neck, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is give this to Morgan. We're just going to slide this underneath her neck, and you want it really at the base of your neck, so right at the bottom, and then she's going to just roll her head back. And I really want, and see what she did with her neck there, is I want you to put that, think of putting that curve in your neck. So. By doing this, what it does is actually starts to stretch the muscles in the front here. These things get, tend to get too tight, and it's also going to allow the natural facets and the joints in the back to sit on each other again naturally as they should. Because a lot of times what they do is get overstretched, and these muscles get too tight, and that's why it hurts. So a good, um, good way to figure out if maybe you're losing a little bit of the curve of your neck is if you had to go watch an air show or something where you looked up a lot would you find that really hard to do or a simple one is when we were kids we used to get on our stomachs and watch tv right or some of you did and if you feel like that would be really cumbersome for you right now or you can't do that that's a good sign that you probably need to reestablish that natural curve of your neck so what i suggest is uh, as you can see it goes right above the shoulders lower part of the neck and then she is looking and tip that chin back so that's the first part of it now as you progress and can do that for at least 10 minutes you can challenge yourself a little bit more or give yourself a little bit something to do where if we handed her a phone here she can actually look at her phone by taking her arms and making sure that the viewing position of what she's doing with the phone is right back here so tipping the head back bringing the arms really into this position because what this is going to do is allow these muscles again to stretch out and then also get a little bit of stretch through there, okay? So that's your first kind of progression. The next progression we'll do is going to take this away, and you can do this off what I suggest the edge of your bed, is you're going to slide your body to the edge of the bed, so pretty much your shoulders are on the edge here, just like she is, and then she's going to just let that head uh, roll off there. So by doing this, like you, yes, you may get a little bit more blood flow to your head, so do this to your comfort, make sure that you're not going to make yourself sick or anything. But what that's going to do is now use gravity to naturally pull the head into the position it should. So again, work up to this, start with three to five, three to five minutes and then work yourself up to 10, maybe 15 minutes. The next progression from there that you can do is that you can take your arms and like with that phone again, act like you're watching. Uh, texting or do your texting, read some emails, watch some social media, do whatever you want to do, watch some more optimal health chiropractic videos. And um, you want to make sure that the vision that you're, you have is right back here. So you should be inducing that natural curve of your neck. So from there, when you get comfortable and can do that uh, for at least 10 minutes, the next progression I'm going to have you do is something very similar, but now what she's going to do is slide off the edge of the bed a little bit more and get this about this much of your shoulders off. So the, the pressure should be at what we call T1, T2 area, maybe even T3, and then look back. And as you can see, quite a bit more um, extension of the neck back there. And what that's going to do is gravity is just going to pull the neck and get some more uh, natural opening of the joints as well as get the stretching in the front of the neck 
So the next progression, again, is doing the same thing with the arms. So if you wanted to just demonstrate that before we go into the next one. So just like if you had a phone. So as you can see, the field of vision's there. If you're looking up here and she can see my hand, you're not doing it right. So the final thing you can do, where if you want to get a little bit more of motion and just kind of take some pressure off the neck, is you can do, um, by putting your hands together like this, she's going to traction her own neck, and you don't need a lot of pressure with this. So I would do a pulse where you're just pushing with about five pounds of pressure, maybe up to 10, for about five seconds holding it then relaxing. So just taking your hands underneath your chin, fingers to the side here, and then pushing your head straight down toward the floor. So as you do that, five repetitions of that a day, you'll start to reestablish that natural curve of your neck. It'll take a lot of pressure off that upper part, maybe reduce some tension headaches. And then one thing to really remember as you finish up with all these exercises is to not jerk yourself up. So you're going to see Morgan pull herself back up to the edge of the bed. And then from there, you're going to want to hang out for at least 10 to 15 seconds, if not longer, because we want your blood uh, flow in the, in the brain and such to get back to the normal area it should. So give this a try. This will help to not only relieve some pain typically for most people, but it's also going to help to reestablish that natural curve in your neck that you need for the short term and the long term. See you next video.